This is another channel update. Last time I asked you about your favorite color scheme. Thanks to your feedback, we've been able to make a decision. We're gonna go for this beautiful green background with bright red letters for better readability. I'm just kidding, of course. The overwhelming majority of you prefer a dark background, so this is what the videos are going to look like from now on. You can already see this new color scheme in action in our entry for this year's Summer of Math exposition. If you haven't seen it yet, do check it out. The video made it into the top 100, and we're very honored and proud about that. Give it a thumbs up and a nice comment so that it feels less intimidated by all the great competition this year. After talking about group theory, we are now ready to move on to linear algebra. And as you can see, the dark background and bright colors are really working well here. The videos on linear algebra are going to be more application heavy than before. That's because there are just so many cool things you can do with vectors and matrices. So I decided to focus a bit less on the theory and more on the practical applications. Artificial intelligence uses linear algebra to detect patterns and extract new knowledge from large datasets. We will see that a fairly simple algorithm can determine the most prominent features of human faces or predict which movies you will like. We will also explore the long-term behavior of dynamical systems, such as an ecosystem where different species struggle for survival. I even managed to smuggle some sounds and even music into these videos. We will listen to the difference between block waves and triangle waves, and you will learn how to predict the sharpness of the sound simply by looking at its wave or its frequency spectrum. I will explain the math behind Fourier series in three different but related ways, so that you'll really get a solid intuition for how a sound wave gets decomposed into its simple sine wave components. And for the first time, we will be able to make a deep connection between math and the physical foundations of the universe. The symmetries of the laws of physics are modeled by groups of matrices. We will figure out how those matrices predict exactly how many force particles there are for three of the four fundamental forces of nature. It turns out to be as easy as counting the degrees of freedom in a group of matrices with specific properties. The series is still under development, but most of the videos have already been released on Patreon, so you can already start learning about Fourier analysis, sound waves, matrix groups, quarks and gluons. We are insanely grateful to all the people who supported us on Patreon so far. The production of these videos takes a lot of time, effort, research and money. So if you want to help us pay the bills, that would be awesome. Become a patron via the link in the description below. It's extremely easy, it just takes a minute. Thank you very much and see you again soon.